Okay, so the very first thing we see is once we download is the actual application, Banlan X. Let's go into it and see what we have. So upon first entering it, you will not see these additional devices that have been added. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and click that plus symbol in the top right corner. From there, we are going to add a new device. Click on that. It's going to scan and it should say either SP602E or if you already have renamed it, you can go ahead and select that. Your installer may have already selected a name for you. So go ahead and click on SP602E and it will connect, bringing you to the very first screen. Now again, this will be dependent upon how many channels or strings that your installer has installed. But we were going to go into channel number one. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click the three dots in the top right corner and we are going to color calibrate. Sometimes first thing you see out of the box is you will see that the red is actually green and the green is actually red, but the blue is blue. So we're going to go and we're going to see and the first color that we see is indeed red. So we're going to click red and next. That should mean that the next color that comes up is green. As we see, we'll go ahead and we'll select green and then blue is automatically going to be there. We're going to come back out. We're going to do the same thing for channel two. So click on channel two, top right corner over to the color calibration and we should see red come up, click next, green, okay, and then it will give us what we need. From there, we can individually control each zone and the color effects that it will create, or we can do everything as a master. Look at it like you have more than one zone, or you can control everything all at once. So let's just go in and let's take a look at what we have for all channels. First thing that we do is we have a effects panel that is notified by the top of the screen with a little star lit. You're going to see I'm going to change it over to the artist palette and then back over to the actual palette for effects. We have up to 49 effects, but depending on how your installer set it up, if you are not set up for music, then the most you can actually get out of your animations is 24. So as you can see, 24, we have effects. 25, you will see the little music note icons probably isn't going to do anything different. And this can go all the way up, like oh, all the way up to 40. But in order to get the most out of your effects, you get them between 1 and 24. Now, if you notice, the color at the bottom isn't dialed in. We can't make any changes no matter where we click on the screen. But if we go up to full color twinkle stars, same thing. But when we go up to twinkle stars, you'll notice that the actual color wheel has now illuminated. We can now move this to anywhere we want and the colors will respond accordingly. You can adjust the speed and on some of the effects, you can even control the effect length, how long it will actually take place inside the actual light controller. Fire, as you can see, automatically, it does not allow you to control that. Stacking, you can choose the colors for stacking. Pretty simple. In this one, you can see that we can change the effect, how close together or how far apart you would like the stacking to take place. Now, let's come back out and go over to the actual color palette, the little artist icon at the top. This is where you have full control out of your entire color gamut and spectrum. As you can see, the very top says DIY color and the bottom says regular color. They look similar the very first time you open the application. This is standard and at the bottom, those colors will always remain there. But the DIY color is exactly as it sounds. It will allow you to control the lights to any color you would like. So go ahead and click one of those colors and then you can change the wheel 
to be wherever you want. And you notice that DIY color remains where it is. You can change the two sliders. You can make it closer to white so that it makes it a pink color. Or you can slide it to fade it down for the brightness. The bottom is the brightness slider. Dark is off. And bright is as bright as that color is to go. Again, you can slide the color matching palette to the tonality of it to whichever way you would like. Okay, so let's just set that over there. You can select, let's say you want to change the white to be a little bit of a different white, kind of like one of those soft whites that you see on people's yards. So there you go. You can select that. You can make it a little bit dimmer, not so bright. And those will always be there. So you can come back out, go back in, and you see they are saved. Until, of course, you disconnect power, you lose power, in which case you may need to reprogram those. Okay, let's go back to the main. Over here, we can do the same thing with the channels. You can select individual colors for each channel. Channel 1 for me is my lower level. Channel 2 is my upper level. Now, if we go back over, we're going to note the little time icon in the top right corner. In here is where we can actually program some settings for when we would like the device to turn on and when we would like it to turn off. So if you see, we do not have any programmed sequences. So let's click that plus icon in the top right corner. Let's say that you would like it to come on twice a day. First time you would like it to come on is at 6 a.m. So let's just set that for 6 a.m. You would like the repetition to be every single day. So go ahead and click every one of those day buttons at the bottom. Would you, what would you like it to do? You would like it to have them all come on. So we can set that and then we click the little check mark in the top right corner again and you will notice that it says all on every day at 6 a.m. But now what do we need? We're going to need to turn them off. So again, we go back in, we click the plus, we go and let's just say that we want that to turn off at 10 a.m. So we can go and set that for 10 a.m. And again, we want that to be every single day. So click every day button at the bottom. Now we need to select the action to be all off. Click OK. And the check button. Now we can see that they go on at 6 a.m. every day and they turn off at 10 a.m. every day. Now what about the evening? Well, let's just say that we would like the bottom to come on at 6.30 p.m. Just to make something a little different, we want, let's just say all days. You get the idea. You know where I'm going with this. But let's say that we want a animation. So let's go scene one. Click the check mark. And scene one is what is going to come on at 6.30 p.m. You know where I'm going with this. Click that check button. We want those lights to go off at, um, let's just say, 10.30 p.m just so that we can sit, conserve some energy every day. And we're going to select all off. We can click the check mark. And there we have programmed the multiple times a day to go on and go off. However, you may lose these settings if the power turns off. Okay, we can also come back in and we can rename the device. Let's name this My Lights. So that every time you come in, you know that those are your lights. Try to avoid your address and your first or personal name, just in case somebody tries to gain access. They don't need to know where you live. So when you come back out and you disconnect, you're going to be able to see on there My Lights. If it's blue, that means you can actively connect to it. Let's go back in. It takes a second to connect, and here we are. We can go in, we can change channel one. Let's make channel one blue, and let's make channel two red. Now what we have is we have the bottom being blue and the top of my house being red. Scenes, that's where you can select the scenes. This is for quick access. Triggers. You don't have any triggers usually 
mainly because those require special programming. You don't need to worry about that. You can group your lights, you can create groups, you can create animations within those just for easy and quick access. Once again, if you have any pr questions, you have any problems, reach out to your installer or if it's something simple, reach out to me. I hope this has been helpful and useful and I look forward to any and all questions that may come up. Thank you.